All right, Peter's back again. As I'm in the phase of decision making now, which aspects would you think about when deciding to buy another roaster and which roaster to buy? Uh, one by one, okay? Which aspects would you think about when deciding to buy another roaster and which roaster to buy? For me, I'm such a supporter and fan of Mill City. Literally, I really just was, before I even met them, say I didn't even know them, okay? I really love the amount of control I have. If I want to change certain things, I can. <laughs> and some people may criticize that and say, well, it's too many things to change. And I get that. I get that argument where it's like, say, a probat back in the day, you have like three things to change. And maybe it makes it easier to roast. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it's really personal preference. How many things would you like to manipulate in your art or craft? I feel like it's just having more colors in the color box. If I'm an artist and I'm painting, I want lots of options. I only don't want primary colors. I want a lot more colors. I don't know. That's kind of how I look at it. Before, I still really feel like before was like the reason why I chose Mill City Roasters was because I had a lot of control. I had power and I had control. A lot of power, actually, right? Um, those were my two biggest things. To me, I was just like, I don't know, it was just my belief, and I kind of still have it now, which is like, um, if I need that power, I want it. If I'm spending a lot already, um, I wouldn't want to have to deal with, oh, my power's not, my, my roaster's not strong enough or powerful enough. I just didn't want to ever say that. <laughs> I wanted to just go, well, I, I have a lot of power, and now I need to learn how to dial it back. I don't know. It's, 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 personal preference. It's totally personal preference. There's no wrong way. There's no one way and there's no wrong way. It's whatever way works for you. Uh, I, I firmly believe it, but I get that it can be really frustrating in that it's like, well, I don't, I won't know until I do it and it costs money to do it. So I get that. I get that frustration. And that's where you really got to ask yourself a lot of those like kind of deep probing questions for you. What, what you feel is going to work for you and try to like to me it's an exercise in knowing oneself like maybe are you the kind of person that in order for you to feel like you're de you're making the best product you can do you feel like you need to have the best quote unquote the best equipment because my husband's like that he won't feel motivated enough or he won't feel like he's making the best product if he doesn't have the best equipment you know, and if he can afford it, he will get the best. He will get the most expensive. I don't think that way. I'm actually like, ooh, what can I do with the cheapest thing? <laughs> I have, I kind of have like a very frugal, uh, cheap um, mentality in that way where I'm like, I don't need the best. I feel like I can make it awesome without the best. I almost, I almost do it like in spite of like you having the best shit, like you having the best roaster the loring or whatever i can make pretty good coffee and maybe even sell it maybe even make a good living maybe even get enough people to love it and not have the best machine and that does it for me you know what i'm saying so that's a very personal um just way of living a life philosophy which i get it i you know i get that i live with a person like that who's like i need to have the best <laughs> or else it's, it's almost like Oh, I'm not even, I'm not even going to try or it's not even going to be the best because I don't have the best equipment. When I saw, I was like, ooh, Loring, very pretty. And then when I saw the price, I was like, nah, I'm never, ever going to consider that. I just don't think that way. Um, I tend to go to things that are like least popular. You know, I'm, I'm in that camp, that Tim Ferriss camp where like, if it's popular, um, run away. <laughs> I'm not a bandwagoner, you know, so I really, I really get joy and delight from carving my own path, like, but that's so personal, okay, so you really, and, and I won't judge you for getting a Loring, I'm like, dope, you could buy a Loring, but for me, I was just like, yeah, I'm never going to do that, I'm most likely never going to do that. What was your next question? Which aspects would you think about when deciding to buy another roaster, and which roaster to buy? Oh, I told you that, right? So power, control, those are my things, you know? 
um, nowadays, so say I have all my biases, I have all my experience, I would still get a Mill City Roaster because I just feel like the support that I have, meaning like the customer support that I have with Mill City Roasters backing up their machines, backing up their like Rose software, I just feel comfortable with them. Um, and comfortability and knowing that you could talk to somebody comfortably and and feel emotionally supported too, like that does go a long way in business when you're doing something that makes a big deal. People in the end, you've heard this before, do business with people that they know and like, and sometimes even to the detriment of their business. <laughs> so, but it's a human thing. Does that make sense? So I like the humans behind Mill City Roasters. Um, so I probably would just choose them again over and over again as I keep increasing. Um, my size of roaster in the future.